What is up, I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today we've got something pretty, pretty cool sitting right next to me. We're gonna be unboxing this guy and talking about it in quite a bit of detail. It is the Alpha Cool Eyes Bar or Eyes Bear. I don't know how you say it. Some German will probably help me, I'm sure. But it's their 280 millimeter all-in-one cooler. It's not just any all-in-one cooler, it is a modular one. So Mod My Mods was kind enough to send this out. They are a website where you can go and just get any and everything you can imagine to mod your computer and especially water cooling parts. They sent this over and I thought, yes, great. This is a pretty unique product that I haven't seen on a lot of other people's channel. And it's kind of fitting into this gap between standard all-in-one coolers and full-blown custom water cooling loops that I think a lot of people are kind of wondering about. So it's modular and that means that above other all-in-one coolers, you're gonna be able to take this apart, expand it. You can do things like refill it. You can upgrade your loop and add other things on and I thought that was pretty cool. So let's get into the box and then talk about it a little bit more. So opening up the packaging, it's not gonna look all that much different from a lot of the all-in-one coolers out there on the market. It includes the user manual first, then as we dig into it, it includes one PWM Y splitter adapter, one package of thermal paste. Here we have a bag of short and long radiator screws allowing for push or pull fan configurations in most cases. Also a set of springs and nuts for tensioning the block slash pump to the CPU and motherboard one AMD bracket. It is worth noting that the AMD bracket included is for the older AM3 and AM3 Plus sockets. And while there are a couple of Ryzen motherboard manufacturers who've done some trickery in order to support both older AM3 and AM4 cooler brackets, most will not. You will likely have to purchase an AM4 bracket if you want to use this with Ryzen. I think they're about nine bucks and you can actually purchase them from Mod by Mods. In fact, I will have a link in the description to that and pretty much every single product I mentioned in this video. For the Intel mounting hardware, there's an Intel bracket and a backplate for Intel sockets and mumbos which do not come with the backplate pre-installed. So quite a bit of hardware included for mounting, but looking at the instructions, it seems like it should be pretty straightforward and easy enough of a process. I will let you know how it goes in my full review. You have two 140 millimeter pressure optimized eyes vent fans. And then lastly, we have the Alpha Cool Ice Bar 280 CPU cooler. This comes in black right now. I think that's the only color. So as I mentioned as we were unboxing this, at first glance, it looks an awful like a pretty standard all-in-one cooler. But if you look a bit closer, you see some details that make this stand out. First of all, we're gonna talk about the block and pump down here. Um, this is all based on one of their existing systems that they sell individually. It's refillable, A, so there's actually a uh, a fill fitting down here that you can uh, unplug and refill it. Well, of course, you will have to drain it, um, but that gives you a lot of reuse that you're not gonna get out of a standard all-in-one cooler. You can completely disassemble this thing and clean it and upgrade it and change any of the individual parts and mechanisms of the uh, pump and reservoir, which is pretty cool. It's got a window on there, so depending on the orientation of your build, if you have something like the, um, the DIY PC case I use, the cuboid, then uh, that would be really, really cool. You'll actually be able to see in that. It is pre-filled. You can actually see liquid in there. It's probably really hard to see. Now, one big problem that a lot of all-in-one coolers have is the uh, audible sound of the pump and reservoir kind of uh, just kind of going all the time. It depends on the manufacturer and uh, how old it is and how much uh, water is uh, in it or liquid is in it. But uh, one thing they really, really uh, wanted to key in on this is making it very, very quiet. This can actually uh, operate uh, with a voltage regulator. So I think it goes from like seven to 12 volts. But you know, that's very, very cool that you can control the pump. So in most all-in-one coolers, you hook it up to a, uh, I think like the CPU fan header and it just runs, it just pulls the, the full voltage. On this one, you can actually um, tune the, uh, the the pump to you know meet your system needs. The second major difference between most all-in-one coolers is the expandability. And this comes from this quick lock mechanism you can see right here, as you can see, uh, it's uh, blue on one side and red on the other side, and one is the inlet and one is the outlet. So you can actually disconnect this, it won't leak everywhere. It's got a kind of quick disconnect system which will seal 
uh, when you disconnect it and then you can expand your loop so if you start out with the cpu cooler and eventually you decide hey i want to water cool my um uh, graphics card so i can get the most performance out of it and water cooling of course the cooler any component runs then the uh, longer it's going to live so you get benefit from that as well so you can disconnect this add on to the loop you simply hook the inlet of the graphics card or the extra radiator that you want to use onto this and then the outlet will of the uh extra components will come into the outlet of this and boom you've expanded your loop so the other thing on here is um this is using pvc plastic tubing i believe and it's got these springs on here uh which help prevent kinking you know this could go in a lot of different configurations they don't know where you're going to be mounting your radiator and this just basically helps make sure that um you don't have any bends and the loop which are going to kink and that's something you have to plan out a lot when you are thinking about um, how your loop is going to be on a fully custom loop and this helps take care of that this is fully disassemblable so if you don't like the look of this you can actually take these off but of course you know it's going to be up to you to make sure that you don't have any kinks in your loop so uh, i think that's really really cool the last thing here is this radiator this is of course based on a radiator that they, that they sell independently all of these fittings are fairly standard fittings that you can um, replace you can actually replace the tubing on this if you want to go with a hardline system down the road you can expand this to become a hardline system and that's which i think is really really cool but the radiator is of course a 280 millimeter radiator and it has all copper fins and super super thin fins you can actually see through them really really well but that just offers um you know the maximum heat transference in terms of cooling so overall this thing is really really cool i can't wait to get to testing it i've got a number of cpus i'm going to be testing with of course i got my ryzen 7 kit in so i have a 1700 and 1700x i also got a 5960x from intel i've got some older cpus like the fx 8350 which is known to run particularly hot especially under a um you know a moderate to heavy uh overclock so uh, i really want to hear what you guys want to see tested with this please jump in the comments down below are you guys thinking about water cooling are you nervous about going from you know all in one coolers or air coolers all the way up to a crazy custom loop where you have to buy fittings and figure out tube inner and outer diameters and uh, what radiator you use and push and pull and all that kind of stuff let me know in the comments below thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you did with a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down but leave some comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't to see more coverage on this product other water cooling projects other builds all the cpus i have i'm going to probably be doing builds on them soon uh follow me on social media i've got links to instagram twitter facebook all that kind of stuff below where you can get uh kind of behind the scenes looks at what i'm doing you know the mods i'm doing with my computer behind me and all that kind of stuff uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.